I do think souls are sent to Earth as a cosmic prison sentence for committing a serious universal crime in a past life or in another sector of the omniverse. That's exactly why this planet is the way it is, because we are inmates. We are all cosmic inmates. Everybody seems to wonder, always ask the question, you know, why do extraterrestrials, why don't they just publicly land and introduce themselves to the world if they exist, if they truly exist? Well, the answer is the same reason why you don't just walk into prisons and start chatting with the inmates. When the ETs, by and large, pass by this planet, this prison planet, they reach over and they secure their perimeter. They lock their doors and move on because we're all crazy down here. Those of us that are trapped still within the digital matrix, the prison matrix. Now, I, I do believe that – hold on a second. Let me – I do believe that we, as prisoners, once we realize that we're here and we, we turn away from the illusion, uh, many people become lost in their prison because this prison is a very insidious, nefarious type of prison in the sense that uh, the sensual pleasures are here, the, you know, all the material pursuits and such. It's easy to get lost in the matrix, this matrix of deception. However, I went through a prison breakout uh, beginning in August 11th of 2021. I had my full prison release, my breakout uh, in September 24th of 2021. I am a miracle worker. I am a worker of magic. I dominate. I dominate this physical realm. And I seek to share that knowledge with those of who believe that they're still trapped, those who watch videos and seek to elevate their consciousness, to free their consciousness. And in furtherance thereof, I cast out demons as well. And, and I cast them out from myself initially. That is where I learned to cast out demons from within myself. That is how I freed myself from this prison, prison matrix. That is how I dominated this harmonic universe number one dominated dimension three and rose in consciousness as a metahuman. And there is a technique, a cobra breath technique. And I'm going to share that information with you now in furtherance that you may release yourself from this prison matrix, that you may rise in consciousness. Now, before I get into all the details, I'm just going to kind of like move through this document. There's not that much to it. You know, you can pause it at any point and read the information, but I'm going to tell you this as, as pranayama needs not be any more complicated than knowing this fact right here. And this is to activate your vagus nerve system, your God mind. And when you breathe in this asymmetric re, uh, breathing pattern, a, where you breathe in for, let's say, four seconds and then you breathe out for six seconds. But the point being in this asymmetric breathing pattern where you activate your vagus nerve, your God mind, you're breathing out. Consciously breathing out at least two seconds longer than your in-breath. And if you follow that pattern and you do that for at least 10 times, you will be in the eternal Shivaya creatrix void. You will be in the Pleroma. You will be in your creative power center. And you will be in the fifth dimension. So the Cobra breath technique is as follows. Now, I'm not going to read all this. You can pause it. You know, I might make a comment here and there, but this is my service to humanity. This is my service to humanity that you may rise as a phoenix of the new earth, as a phoenix of the new age, the Satya Yuga golden age. That is what the Ombanda New Earth Ashram is all about, is creating pharaohs, creating royal power within and without your existence. And thus, by doing so, I create a royal planet of ascended metahumans. No, you will feel you will not feel the sexual energy rise on the inhale. You are creating a route, creating a route for the sexual energy to rise. Your prana, your oregon, and will rise after the exhale. 
So please hit the subscribe button because I'm helping you with your sexual energy. And that's got to feel great. And leave this video a thumbs up. So here we have some more detail with the Cobra breath and stuff. You can pause that. But this is all, all of this spiritual technology um, that our Hindu brothers, uh, mentors, a long, so long ago figured out through breathing, breathing, breathing. The, the word Yahweh itself is actually the sound of aspiration of breathing in and breathing out, the sound of your breathing. You are your breath is God, is the God energy, is your consciousness. Try to hold your breath for, I don't know, however, the longest you can hold it. What happens? You, you start blacking out if you tell me your breath is not important. This is your cobra breath. Learn it. Own it. Live it. Share it. Be it. Be the cobra. Be the phoenix. So it's an all-in-one empowering technique, direct advancement towards your kundalini's ascension. That is, a, that is exactly what I went through on September 24th of 2021 was a full kundalini activation. I've made plenty of videos about it. It is what has put my life in that direction as an ascended master to share this information with you. The most esteemed, honorable, noble and notable viewer. As in your name has been notated on the wings of the phoenix to rise as a metahuman. The cobra breath. Very natural, the phoenix breath, whatever you want to call it. You will need strong sexual energy. In other words, strong chakras. Chakras, uh, you know, tend to throw people off because it's a weird name or and they don't, they associate it. But just think of energy centers. We all have energy. Everything is energy. Your, your chakras are energy vortices. We have different sorts of energies, different types of energies in this seventh dimensional reality, sub-reality that we find ourselves in. So after you have unblocked all your chakras, you can work with the Cobra breath, continuing the empowering of individual chakras. You can look into, you can, you know, but this directs your sexual energy to specific chakras. Base chakra, you should perform the alternate nostril breathing before performing Ida Pingala Nadis. Ida Pingala essentially is your, your, your negative and positive polarity, your female, your male, your left, right, uh, part of the yin yang. But this is all scientific. This spiritual technology is there. This is, you know, so here we have uh, sexual energy rise up the Sushuma. This is your middle pillar, your pillar of light. And this is all your energy. This is all energy. And this is all through breathing. If you, you know, when you find yourself uh, uh, anxious or upset, you know, oftentimes pay attention to your breathing. You'll notice your, your re breathing is out of order. And as soon as you bring order to your breathing, as soon as you bring cautiousness, focus upon your breathing, then you have reestablished your God mind. You are back in the throne of Ahaz, the, the wise. When you have taken your seat upon the throne of your breath, then you are in your God mind. So please hit the subscribe button. And leave this video a thumbs up as it indicates to the algorithm that we are here to establish the throne of our God mind. Namaste. Namaskaram.